Did it start? Mm-hmm. I think beep sometimes and sometimes it doesn't beep, but all right, well, we have like like 15 different videos uh, lined up for the vlog channel, but saw a couple of comments um, from the past couple of vlogs about the update on the house and what we're doing with the house and all that kind of stuff. Look, these things just stick out a little bit, don't they? Yeah, they do. So that is normal. Um, how long ago was that that we started? Three months ago or something? Yeah, looks like it. Probably three months ago. So, so you saw, um, I, I think we said that in that video, but that, that house that we were looking at, um, that's right when the housing market like started going to the roof mm -hmm. and the house was going to be like crazy expensive. And that's what we were talking about. Like this house, um, was it six years ago we've been here? Yeah, we've been Almost here. Almost seven. Mm -hmm. um, January 1st, 2015 is when we moved in. But, um, this house was like 90,000 back then. And they're saying like, this house is like almost worth double is what it was then. So house prices are crazy right now. And, um, so we're making this place, uh, better for us. Yeah. So we're going to, um, custom cement. fit it for us. <laughs> yeah. There's some, Cause I think it's like, what is it? 900 square feet or something. Yeah. The first yeah. floor. Yeah. It's not, it's not a very big house, but, um, so anyways, what, uh, I think the first video we put on this channel, what's the bell I've been up to and everything. Mm -hmm. I think the basement was kind of, we showed some of what was going on. So, uh, what we're doing is um, the bedroom right there that Amy's standing in front of, mm -hmm. that's our bedroom right now. That's going to turn into Alyssa, the oldest girl. And then this this office where all the we keep all the video stuff, this is going to be Lexi's and um, Lakeland's. Yep. And then um, uh, and then our room is basically going to be the whole basement. Right. right? Okay. So, so we started on the basement, had a bunch of the plumbing redone and everything, and that created... Uh, um, Believe it or not, the main, this, this bathroom isn't, um, it's a, the house was built in 1953. We found mm -hmm. that out when we ripped this bathroom apart, but maybe we can put that picture in. Yeah. And then hopefully Amy can put some pictures in of how the basement has come along, right? Something like yeah. that. Cause we haven't really filmed a lot. Um, so maybe those pictures are popping up. I don't know if they are or not, but, oh, uh, so when we redid the plumbing in the basement, uh, the, the bathtub valve up here actually got a crack in it, the brass part of it. And it was an original valve to the house. So there wasn't any really rebuilding it. And then we had to knock part of the wall out to get to the valve. And we were talking about redoing this bathroom anyways, to kind of keep the kids on this floor. Yeah. Right? So they have a, a functional shower. We didn't have a shower in this. Yeah. This is only house. a bathtub. And then we showered downstairs. You guys have seen in past videos with the rat prank and maybe the paintball prank. It was a and then hopefully there's maybe I got a, we got a video or a picture showing that the little tiny shower that used mm -hmm. to be downstairs. So the girls always took baths up here and me and Michael went downstairs and showered. So that created that leak. I thought, well, crap. Um, I guess we we'll just have to go ahead. Since we already have a hole in the wall, just go ahead and redo this bathroom. So this is kind of where we're at. Oh. Where we're at with this bathroom. Um, so they started laying the tile on the floor last night. So it's kind of, uh, this is the kind of the tile we're going with. You're going with what color gray? Uh, it'll be like a, um, I think it's called natural gray. All natural gray. And then, of course, that's where the sink goes and the toilet's right there where the hole is. But So all this is going to get ripped out. This, this is pretty funny. I'll show them that, Amy. Give Adam a hard way to go about this. I don't know. I think this mirror has been in here since, I don't think he put it in. It, yeah, it's been before. But well, check this out. So, if you're standing, show them this. If you're standing, okay. this, if you're, uh, if you're standing here to get ready, I have to do. Show them. Justin has to get in the squat position. I have to do this to fix my hair because the mirror's so low. But hopefully, we're gonna obviously fix that. So this thing is like a medicine cabinet kind of deal, deal. But I'm gonna rip this off, and we got a bigger mirror at Lowe's, and then a new light for that. And then what would you call this? Like a 50% remodel or something in here? No, no, it's pretty well, 100%. Well, we're not taking it down to the studs, though. No, but we're putting, we are making it functional. We're putting a, a vent in yeah, for the then, bathroom. Yeah, we didn't have an exhaust fan before because it wasn't a shower, but now it's uh, obviously, a, we got it kind of rigged back up. This is the new shower valve, or mm -hmm. is that what you call it? New shower valve. So, we got it kind of rigged up now to where they can um, still take baths and stuff. And then, pretty nice, we hung this thing. Um, 84, 85 inches, and I think standard's like 80, so it's a lot higher. 
like when you get to those motels and you got to squat to take a shower because the freaking shower heads right here is stupid. But I don't. We're that's... tall people too, so it makes more sense. Like uh, Justin's uh, six two, Michael six one, I'm five eight. So. So with this, they went ahead and they ripped all this stuff down in the studs and did, did this uh, concrete, concrete board, and then there was no insulation in this house at all. So uh, a few years ago, when we had the siding put on the house, uh, he did that that moisture barrier. Yeah. And that actually helped our electric bill a lot. Yes, it did. That. So when he had this off, there is nothing behind here. So he insulated all this behind all this wall and stuff. And so I guess the plan for this is this is going to be tiled mm -hmm. um, all the way down the tub. She's going to keep this tub and uh, have it refinished, right? Yes. Uh, and I know we're going to get comments, but that that's a cast iron uh, um, glazed tub. So you can't actually, I don't, I, I couldn't imagine what it would cost for us to buy a cast iron tub now. Right. I mean, so to enamel it would be a drop in the bucket to even compared to what buying a new crappy fiberglass tub would be. Yeah, so, so this is, uh, this is going to be tile, and it used to have tile on the walls, but she's going to paint that, right? And then we have some granite pieces uh, for like corner shelves. Yeah. For, the, for soap bottles. And we can show them the pieces. They're in the basement. Yeah, that they're going to go like whatever here and here, or whatever they're going to go. It's got blood on the wall. See that? Ew. Is that, that paint over? Um, so that's going to be, that's going to be like that. And then, um, and I mean, I guess what, if you guys want to see this stuff, we'll just have to give you more updates as it goes. Yeah, let us know if, that, if, that, if that's what you're interested in. I mean, we can show you when it's finished. And that's kind of where we're at. Oh, did I hit a button? The blood on my arm from one of the videos, but stay tuned. Oh, yeah, that was on the LLife.com. So check that out. Oh. Um, so, and then, of course, another thing with these doors, this house has these, what do you call these? I mean, like, hollows. Like, like this is a better door than <laughs> what these are. Like veneer, hollow veneer doors. So, I think there's six doors. So, there's two bedroom doors and then two um, closet. closet doors. And then this is going to be a bedroom door now because it's going to be our bedroom. And then the door for that. And then, I don't know if you've seen the new videos where we're filming, but we had... Um, uh, two exterior doors put in for um because the old ones were letting air in and it was a mess they were complete their kitchen was completely rusted so this is all under construction we're right in the middle of it right in the middle of the hot heaviness well some of the old videos there used to be a wall right here and it used to go all the way down um to there with a door and this was michael's bedroom it's kind of still set up as a bedroom but um and then in that update video you know we showed you we had the you can see where the floor is different. We had the um, Everdry come in and waterproof the basement because this basement leaked like a river was coming through yeah, here. Yeah, it was bad. So we had that fixed and then had uh, drains put in and sump pump put in. and So the basement doesn't leak at all. Nope. I think Brian never <laughs> coming in, aren't they? Yep, Brian's here. So we'll show you where the, look at him. You wanna be in the, in the vlog? We're showing an update video. Alright, so this is the start of the, what, bathroom? Yes. So it's been kind of a wonky setup for how long? Um, since before we moved in on your end. Yeah, so we got all of this going on. So we already ripped out. There was a little, what would you call that? A, a like cabinet a, kind of yeah. deal? And a mirror. I'm redoing the electric now. It's right trash cans down here filling stuff up but there was the two cabinets and there's a countertop to it and then old trash can full of stuff so she's getting ready to pull the linoleum up so we're having a uh, actual shower put in that you can wash your feet in because this one's nasty and kind of just well, thrown together it was, it was, yeah, well it was just it was like this probably what I don't know. 20 something years it's been like this uh, you already saw the doors and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna have have uh, oh, I'll leave it open because of the wall. Side by sides in there, hanging out. But I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and rip the linoleum up, and then we're gonna move the water heater in this sink. You must get a different sink. Move the water heater over here to this corner, and then. Move this sink over here, and she's wanting to do some cabinets and stuff, and 
all that kind of stuff. But so we're gonna try to bring the shower is gonna come to here. So it should be like five feet wide by almost five feet deep this way. So, so. we've been talking about doing this for, we've been in this house for what, almost seven years? Yeah. So we've been talking about do, redoing this bathroom for seven years and we're finally. Oh yeah, and then we, we had, had uh, like a clothes hanger here, closet. Um, That's desperately needed to come down. For a while and we're gonna um, change this into like a, where you put the towels and all that kind of stuff. What's that called? A linen closet. Paint the walls and all that, but she's getting ready. You want to start pulling it up? Right now? Yeah, well, you just did a second ago before I turned I the camera. I know. Camera. thought we might as well film it while you're uh -huh. doing it. You only did that because I said I'd have it up in five minutes, and you said, "Oh, this is on. All this has to be cleaned up here." Oh, yeah, it's been in there for a long time. I think it's glued at all. Uh, no. I don't think it's glued. I think it's disgusting. It just needs a little cleaning. It might be glued on the edges. It's not bad. All right, you're gonna have to put the camera down. But want to start this process before we have been doing all kinds of stuff all right we're back here in a little bit so this is where we are with the with the uh, bathroom Brian did all the that what tile is this Amy just tile with your grave so I don't know if you don't hold that for a second we'll yep. show them so this is she, hopefully she's had those other videos in the in the, this video by now to show what it used to look like, right? Mm -hmm. So there used to be a toilet right there. We used to get made fun of in the videos. And this washer and dryer used to be right here. Used yeah. Used to be right there. And then this was the old shower. So. Well, officially that was a slop sink. And yeah, the old no, shower. Slop sink here. Wait, the, wait, don't shoot me. Oh, the old shower was the size of the opening for the new shower. Yeah. So, so what we did is um, took the washer and dryer. Aaron's calling me. Um, took the washer and dryer from here, and of course put it here, and then Brian did the ship lock up the back work. Like I said, we got, he was in the middle of this, and then that valve started leaking, so we're gonna make, go ahead and do the upstairs bathroom, so the kids don't come down here, me and Amy want this to be our bathroom. Right. right? So, we moved the water heater, used to be over here in the corner, moved the water heater to here, so this is kinda like the, Utility closet, yeah, I guess you would say. Yeah, it's gonna be like a utility closet, huh? So, and had a bunch of the plumbing redone, um, put all new ball valves and stuff, and we still have to do new ball valves up here for the- uh, Right, it's got, um, we got a leaky one right now. You got a Another new, that's leak. For, that's for the sink, you gotta have that redone. So, the plan for this, I guess you wanna tell them, Amy, is there's gonna yeah. be a barn door here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wanna show them? So, this will all be closed in here. Uh, of course, it'll be accessible to Yeah, us. so that'll be, like yeah. that and then there'll be an accessible uh thing for up there but there'll be a barn door that will actually go in between these two walls and shut yeah and so, open. so um, the barn door will slide in between right there. this is a linen closet yep uh these houses that were built back in the 50s they didn't actually fill them with closets hardly at all um there will be what's going to be behind you oh this will be a um, like a dressing vanity slash laundry folding area. Okay. Uh, so there'll be lights above it, a big mirror, and then there's uh, we bought um, a piece of granite to go across. And then this will be a double vanity sink, uh, 70 inches long. The door that goes on here will be another barn door. And it's gonna, well the wall, there'll be a wall right here, but it's yeah. gonna slide that way to open, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's the new toilet. We got the fancy, what is this thing called? called American Standard it says it can flush like 80 golf balls in one flush. So watch, watch it. Like that. We're not going to flush any golf balls though. But then this is the this is the official shower. Yeah. So before so. The, this was hidden behind the old shower. Right. When we when they opened it up. So you got this like what is it like stone floor? Yeah. So they okay. got a pebble stone floor and ceiling. And Amy kind of went wild with the granite. So we got this granite. Can't really see it, so door. This granite right here. Um, then, it's called black leathered granite, is what it is. So it's a matte granite. And that granite, and here's the granite for the shelf, right? Yep. 
and then so you can put I guess your shower crap there or up here wherever you want to right. and then it's not put to get this the shower valve goes there and this is like the wash and handle thing yeah yeah it have a it's gotta be a hose on yeah it. and then the water is actually gonna we got a big uh, what is it like a 14 inch or a yeah it's a rain like a rain shower yeah like a rain shower and then there's gonna be four can lights in here yeah. so I don't know how big it is it's the old shower literally was this but like from like not even to that wall back there I don't know how to explain it it was a really tiny shower like to wash your feet watch I feel my head to wash my feet yeah. I couldn't bend over because my butt was hit the shower stand where you were you were right up against the wall when you Justin would get in he couldn't hardly even turn sideways so the other wall was right here and the shower head was right here is where right. it was so I had to put the soap on my feet and do this and wash my feet like this because I couldn't if I bent down my elbows would hit it was a mess That's your a butt would hit or yeah. something yeah oh. It's a lot nicer now, but you want to show him the granite for the, yeah. it's out here. Oh yeah, and he, of course, drywalled all this. This used to be, oh, you guys have seen this in an update video, but here's the, the back side. Yeah, this is going to be the granite for the, that's for the sink. And then the other one's for the vanity. Another one's for the vanity. You can show him the upstairs vanity. It's, um, it's clean side up. Then it turned out a good spot for, for this and we're actually going to turn this in he's um he's going to redo the floor and do that epoxy floor yep. and then fix these doors where it's a nicer in here it didn't uh showed you that workbench we got a bunch of the video stuff right there to get to and then all the different seasons and truck parts from the chevy and it actually turned out really nice it's like an 18 foot long workbench really all right, I've seen that. I've seen it. All right. And then, so that that's the, what did you call that? That's the master bathroom. And master bathroom, yeah. Master bath, okay. And what's, you want to show them what this is going to be? So this is going to be uh, the master closet. You don't have to go through the door because there's, that door's in the way. But the door will, you'll enter out and into the office is how we have it set up. Uh, the ceiling is too low here. Um, and I actually wanted the door over there. It'll, it'll come to, it'll look good when it's all come together. So we 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 didn't show them that, but upstairs closet you can't fit two pairs of shoes in. No, it's it's extremely small. So you're gonna go. Just a little bit. So, you're gonna, so here's the entrance. Whoa. So I guess there's gonna be shelving all the way around through here. Yeah. And then he's gonna have an access panel to get to the furnace, and then uh, a way we can change the filter and yeah. stuff down there. But they'll be. Uh, We'll have top and bottom hanging area all the way through, and then on these walls will probably just be shelves. Yeah, so, so. that's going to be um, nice. And then I guess while we're here, I'm going to show you this. The uh, a buddy I used to work with actually started his own heating and air business, and um, this none of the houses are really these old houses weren't really done right with the air conditioning. So you know, you're technically you're supposed to have a supply and return in every room. You know, besides kitchens and um, bathrooms and stuff like that, but uh, so he came and measured the house and then set the plans off and then they sent back the the plans of the correct duct, duct work size to this unit we kept this old this unit it's like 10 years old so it's probably got another five or six years left in it so we thought you know there's no point in changing that if it's working so um, had all the duct work redone so now she can show you right here um I turn these lights on here too still everything's kind of Where's the switch at? Oh, man. It used to be on a wall, but there's no wall left. Oh, oh it right. is on. I wonder who does that. Do these things work their ways loose or something? No, I think he loosens them so they're not right in his face. Oh, all right. But, uh, so now there's, uh, there's a supply right there and a supply right there. That's going to the living room. And then this supply, where we're standing now, is going to be the, the new office. That's for down here, of course. And then, um. There's halls going up the steps. Yeah, and then. So here's the, of course, the new return coming down. This is the new supply coming down. It goes all the way down to here. This used to be the old supply size, which is 16, and it was supposed to be 24 like that. So the unit was really choked down. But there's a supply and return in every room now is what I'm getting at. So this is the new supply to the upstairs bedroom. And then there is the supply for this bedroom down, see, down here. And then there's the supply for the office. And then the supply for the bathroom, and then the supply for the garage. So the duct work's done right now, basically. Um, hold on a second. So you want? Come up. 
Yeah, heat them up. I'm leaving. I love you. Love you too, bye. So you want to explain what the... Oh, is this the upstairs vanity? Green? Yeah. I'm going to show them how... So this... Is that called a vessel bowl? Yeah. So that's going to sit on this, and then there's those corner shelf pieces of granite right there, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, can't put them like that. You have to... So they don't scratch them. Opposite like that. All right. So that's going to be like that, and then this is going to be the... There's a return in here now, too. This bedroom. And then this is going to be the, so there's going to be a wall right through here, right? Yeah. And our headboard is going to be right here, and our feet are going to be down there, and hopefully we'll put a TV down there on that wall, right? And then what all is open? So where we're standing, Every, this is... This, this would be the only part that's closed off. Everything else other than the closet and the master bathroom will be open. So this is the other garage, and this door will open to go into the, yeah. the master. And then here's the new doors for upstairs, right? Yep. So these are a little bit nicer and cedar e whatever you want to say Hi, I think. all right so the door for to get in from yeah we'll run like this yes and then we'll walk through that way we'll so walk that through that way we're not walking into our master but even though it is our master and then this is going to be the barn door that's going to slide that way right yep. to the bathroom mm -hmm. it's really hard for me to see this stuff when it's still under construction like this but so all this will be open we're gonna have a nice big safe right here that's going to go under the steps that he's going to box in and make that look nice and then um, other than that, it's going to be wide open, right? Yeah. Besides this closet. So, let us know if we'll you go guys... outside and show them the, the unit real quick, and then we well, can do the ending right there, right? Yeah. Well, it's, it's the same unit. No, but we moved it. Oh. So, there's a plan for out here, too. Well, well, we'll tell you all that in a little bit. So, the old unit used to, or this unit used to sit right here. So, you can see where the line set used to come down the wall right there. We're gonna move, or we move the unit over here to get more space for, there's the doors right there to the other garage. We're gonna have the lean-to is gonna go all the way down to here, down to there, and then actually turn this into a functional garage, right? So we can actually have vehicles and garages now. But, because the Chevy sits right here, and it's almost under, almost under, but not quite. But, here, I'm gonna hold it. I can turn it off for you. Yep. But, so, uh, we've just been getting a, a few comments here and there, people asking about the house, so that's kind of why we, um, we get in there. That's kind of why we didn't, um, didn't move, and we're going to, this, hopefully this place is going to turn out pretty sweet. Yeah, I think so. So, maybe leave a comment down below if you guys want to see the progress come along, maybe once every couple weeks or something, something like that, you think? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, if you do want to see that or not, um, thanks a ton for all the support. Like, share, and subscribe to uh, this channel, of course, and then Ask the Bell Life. And then um, make sure to check out our belllife.com for all our comedy stuff and all of this crazy stuff where I got all these from. And then my arm's still bleeding from other videos, so uh, can't thank you all enough. And um, there is an app coming out for the belllife.com, so stay tuned for that. It'll be available for Android and iOS, so it'll be a little easier to get to instead of going to the website. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. But. Leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more. We can't thank you enough. See you on the next one. Bye.